welcome to the Test Fabrics Laboratory. My name's Miranda, and I'm here to demonstrate some tests for color fastness. I am following the AIC Wiki Textile Specialty Group, Chapter Number 5, Analysis and Testing Methods for Textiles, Section B, Spot Tests for Color Fastness. Color fastness is defined as the resistance of a material to change in any of its color characteristics, to transfer of its colorant to adjacent materials, or both as a result of the exposure of the material that might be encountered during storage, treatment, or display. Textile artifacts are tested before cleaning in aqueous or organic solvent solutions to determine if any colorant will bleed into the solution or transfer color to any adjacent fibers or materials. All color components, backing fabrics, repair fabrics, and yarns are to be tested to determine their potential for color loss or transfer. The materials and equipment that you'll need include deionized or distilled water, a surfactant solution made out of your specific detergent, acetic acid 2%, ammonia 2%. You can use pipettes or we're using eyedroppers. They also have a brush swab in the material section, but we won't be using those right now. Blotting paper, unbuffered. Cotton fabric. It's bleached, desized, and scoured. Weights. These are made out of glass. polyethylene film, and the crock meter machine. If the dye is very unstable and it bleeds into the water, this will eliminate the need for the other solutions. The basic test method says to wet out a small thread sample taken from the textile or wet a discrete area on the textile with one of the liquids to be used in treatment. Place the area between two pieces of blotting paper or cotton fabric and cover with film and place under weights. Allow moisture to evaporate and examine. So first we're gonna take a small thread from the artifact wet out a small thread sample taken from the textile. So we have our small thread samples here that I've removed from the textile. And now we're gonna wet them out. I do have a Petri dish to wet them out in. So I'm gonna completely wet out the yarn samples I've taken with the pipette and our weakest solution, the distilled water. We're going to see if it starts to bleed. I'm not seeing any color loss. So now that the sample's all wet, we're going to press it between the blotting paper and the, the plastic film. Due to the time constraints, we're not going to be doing the detergent, acetic acid, or ammonia on the actual artifact today, but I hope I gave you a good idea of how you would do it um, if you were spot checking. So now everything is ready for us to see what happened. The first, let's check out our waters. Here's water. And 
and there's no color transfer there. Here's another water, no color transfer there. The detergent. No color transfer detected. The acetic acid had some color transfer. And the final ammonia had no color transfer. Maybe, no, no. And over here, our spot checking test showed some dirt residue coming off. This is the basic me method for color fastness. AIC lists variations on the basic method, and they also outline three alternative test methods for wet cleaning. We have a long history with the AATCC, and we are suppliers of all the test materials you need to conduct color fastness testing today. Thank you.